You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, months ago, we did videos on a high school in quotations that apparently raised a lot of eyebrows. They appeared on ESPN. Their football team called Bishop Sycamore appeared on ESPN and they played against IMG Academy, a top tier high school for football. And they got absolutely annihilated, absolutely destroyed on ESPN. The score was 58 to nothing. And this raised a lot of eyebrows as to is this school even a school? And we did videos on it and all the evidence said this is not a school. You even had some of the players on the team saying, no, we're not a school. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the investigation is complete on Bishop Sycamore. And ladies and gentlemen, it was 100 percent a scam. It is official and it is in the books. So we're going to dive into that in this video. And by the way, guys. The forms are up on the website. Go ahead and sign up for free. Grab a free membership for that. If you have any problems with it, just email us because we know it's early and um, there's probably going to be some glitches and that kind of thing. We actually have to change the website back to the old format because we're trying to work out some um, some kinks on that. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, guys. It says no surprise. Ohio Department of Education confirms Bishop Sycamore was a scam. Not a surprise to me, probably not a surprise to any of you guys that were actually paying attention because in my video, the school and I'm using that in uh, quotations didn't even really have an address. It was like some warehouse or something uh, that they were renting out or something like that. Now, the victims in all of this are the students because we found out that these students weren't even really provided with meals. Some of the some of these students had to fend for themselves and resort to illegal activity to survive. This is sad. But let's read this here. It says here, remember Bishop Sycamore, the high school football team no one had heard of that lost 58 to nothing to IMG Academy in a game that was somehow broadcast on ESPN. Yeah, ESPN, they dropped the ball on this and I'm not giving them a pass. OK. The game took place in Canton, Ohio in August. And on Friday, the Ohio Department of Education released the report from its months long investigation of the school. Turns out is not a school at all. In the 41 page report, investigators determined that Bishop Sycamore, quote, is not a school as it purports on paper to be. They couldn't confirm basic facts about the school like his actual location or other names of any of his teachers, things you typically need to be considered a school. So the basic stuff, folks, they couldn't even provide names of teachers, couldn't actually provide a location. Not surprised, man. And these people need to be locked up. They need to be in jail because this is pretty much, you know, child abuse. These high school kids should actually be in school trying to get an education and the education part definitely was not happening, but the scamming part definitely did happen. The quote school did not meet the state's minimum requirements to be considered an educational institution, which led the investigators to one inevitable conclusion. Quote, the facts suggest that Bishop Sycamore high school was and is in fact a scam. That is the official words from the investigation. This is a scam. I mean, Bishop Sycamore went for juicy smooth. Yay. Instead of making up a, you know, a fake hate crime or going the uh, Bubba Wallace smile route, they made up a whole entire scam about school. They were pretty much, you know, a football team and not very good. They even talking about they had division one athletes, you know, and that is the reason why they got on ESPN did not. Uh, happened. It was not true. And ESPN did not do that due diligence. 
The announcement that Bishop Sycamore was a scam comes as a surprise to exactly no one since people uh, since something fishy was going on from the very start. During the game, ESPN announcers implied that the network was duped into broadcasting the game when Bishop Sycamore told them the school had multiple top recruits. OK. Um, their website was originally devoid of any content and was later fleshed out with information about how to get recruited. Vitally, there was no info about an actual school on the site. Now a visit to bishopsycamore.org, I should say, uh, shows you essentially get nothing since the domain is for sale. Now, last time I heard about this domain, it was actually trying to um, get people to buy merch or something like that. Now they got nothing. Bishop Sycamore was not listed on the Ohio Department of, of Education's list of registered charter schools for the 2020-21 academic year or the 2021-22 academic year. Bishop Sycamore founder Andre Peterson said it was an online only charter school that had just a P.O. box, but had supposedly rented out space prior to the pandemic. I'm going to stop right there. Bishop Sycamore, and I talked about this in my videos back in August. Bishop Sycamore existed before as Christians of Faith Academies. And these people pulled the exact same scam. They got away with it two times. Why isn't Andre Peterson locked up? That's what I need to know. He needs to be locked up. You remember after the whole thing blew up in their face, they ended up firing their coach. I believe the coach was on the scam, too, because he was a part of Christians of Faith Academy as well, I believe. Several students who played for Bishop Sycamore were listed as students of completely different high schools on recruiting websites. Wow. And that's just a tiny sample sampling of the weird, uh, shady and gross and possible illegal stuff. Not possible. This is illegal. Illegal stuff people discovered about Bishop Sycamore after they, after they rocketed to fame. But the biggest piece of evidence we had that Bishop Sycamore was a, was a scam came from the head coach. No, not the head coach who led the team uh, to that 58 to nothing loss because he was fired shortly after the game when it was discovered he had an active warrant in Ohio. I forgot about that and had defaulted on a one hundred thousand dollar loan that he used to run another football forward school called Christians of Faith Academy. It ties directly into that. Tyron Jackson, the head coach who was hired after that guy was fired, gave a quote in September that could have reduced the Ohio Department of Education's 41 page report to just a single sheet. Quote, this is his words right here, guys. Quote, we are not a school. <laughs> Jackson told a local NBC affiliate. That's not what Bishop Sycamore is. And I think that's what the biggest misconception about us was. And that was our fault because that was a mistake on paperwork. <laughs> so this man himself came out and admitted they were not a school. The Ohio Department of Education was more thorough in the report, of course. And hopefully now the book on Bishop Sycamore will be closed forever. So there you have it, guys. It is official. It is a wrap. Bishop Sycamore was nothing more than a scam. We all knew this. I knew this. And these people need to be locked up, man. Even the coach that came out and admitted they won to school. I mean, he was act actively participating in this, knowing they were not a school. This is child abuse, folks. This is absolutely child abuse. I mean, ESPN, man, they didn't do that due diligence on this. They need to be held accountable. In addition to the people running, quote unquote, Bishop Sycamore High School. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.